In fairy tales, deep woods are often home to magical castles. And in Germany's dense Spessar forest, it's actually true. Normally they have the castles in very open places. But here it's very hidden and closed. You will not find it if you don't know there is a castle. In all the wars, even in the 30 years war, they never found it, never. Schloss Mespelbrunn was born not from the daydream of a wealthy aristocrat, but rather from an act of selfless heroism. There was one of the member family Echter who helped the Duke Archbishop in a very dangerous situation and he uh, helped him to stay alive. He carried him on his shoulders as long as he had to. He never stopped and then the Duke Archbishop woke up and was happy to be alive and said, you saved my life, I will give you this place as a present for your family. Carved from nature in 1412, Mespelbrunn was at first a hunting lodge, a place of bountiful feasts and tall tales, of jolly clansmen and proper nobles, of brave knights matching wits with elusive deer, wild boar, and on occasion unruly bandits, and even radical Hussites, as the Ector family sought to tame this wild land. In the 16th century, a new generation reshaped the castle into the more pleasing form we see today. 200 years ago, this was completely closed. You couldn't look through the arch bows. But one day they decided to take these parts out and put a romantic arch bow in. And that was the best what happened to the house. Schloss Mespelbrunn overflows with distinctive details, all of which have somehow survived the continuing threat of war and weather, except for one inadvertent casualty that came in World War II. They covered this in wood to keep it safe, but they didn't know they would have the most hardest winters in their life. Those winters in the Second World War were extremely cold after the war. When they took the cover off, the pieces came off because the water dripped between and froze. So no weapons, but the frost destroyed it a little bit. <laughs> One key symbol that has transcended the centuries, along with the story behind it, is the Ector family crest. The three rings are from the family Echter. And the family Echter had those crests for many, many, many centuries. There was a very strange and wonderful story from this family. There were three very strong boys and uh, they had always trouble with other strong knights. And one, they had a fight and one of the other knights was killed. They were taken to court and they were banished to live in the woods. And they became fair game for hunters and everybody who came upon them. During these years in the woods, the three boys, they said, once in a month we should meet. And so when they had their meeting point, they had to put the horses uh, together and after they came free, they took the three rings in memory of those years when they had to put their horses, to fix their horses, in, in, on that meeting point. And so the spirit of the three brothers lives on. Mythical Mespelbrunn is a rare gem bathed in beauty. a Renaissance-style masterpiece that captures the essence of life in the 16th century. I hope you too will do what I did and explore Schloss Mespelbrunn for yourself, and perhaps even encounter its signature moat trout.
In this splendidly serene setting, you almost forget there's an outside world, and you'll find yourself in absolutely no hurry to leave.